Florida State made a massive splash this week in Indianapolis at the NFL Combine. There's been a lot of talk about development and strength and conditioning, and some programs love their strength and conditioning guys. Some programs hate their guy. Some people have programs with strength and conditioning coaches that are super loud and boisterous and making funny Twitter videos, and others are just kind of quiet and go about their work and get it done, and the results kind of speak for themselves at that point. But Florida State in Indy was something absolutely special, something that I don't think we've seen for 10-plus years the Seminoles have absolutely dominated the NFL Combine. They were the talk of the NFL Combine, and it absolutely makes Florida State fans proud and reveals a very important truth that Richie and I talk about here. Uh, NFL Combine was this weekend, and I mean, just suffice it to say that Florida State absolutely showed out. You know, we already did a video and, and talked in a recent podcast just about development, about Norvell, about just that in general so this may get a little bit repetitive with that but um florida state absolutely goes off at the combine and i thought they did a really good job you know it, it wasn't just what they did you know on the track or on the field uh you know on the bench any of that stuff which we'll talk about some of that in just a moment but uh people seem to be really impressed with uh their you know the the answers that they gave the way that you know, Jared Verse and Keon Coleman and Trey Benson and different ones uh, just spoke and like some of the meetings that they had, which was which is pretty cool. Like, you know, I, you know, not going to pretend to be best friends with any of these guys or, or have a, any kind of insight um, into what their personalities are. But you do kind of like to hear that. Right. It's not just all. um Hey, this this guy ran really fast, but he's a jerk and an idiot. Nobody wants to be around him. You know, our guys seem like they're fairly likable. Um fairly genuine, fairly good guys. And uh, that kind of showed through with some of what came out of the combine as well. Yeah. And we knew Jared verse was going to be a phenomenal when it came to the interviews, same with Jordan Travis, same with Trey Benson. Um, Keon Coleman is hilarious, man. He, he yeah. just, the answers he gives is it's just, man, he, he is one of one. He truly is. Um, but yeah, you, we've all had those players, no matter what fan you, of what school you're a fan of you've had those players you're like man this guy is a beast but man i don't I, i'm gonna be really holding back when he does his interviews you don't you didn't get that with any of these Florida state players there's nobody that you said man i really don't want this person behind a microphone no they all we knew what they would do on the field and uh, honestly i was impressed beyond some by what some uh some of these guys did on the field which we'll talk about in a little bit but I was very comfortable with any of these Florida State players in their interview settings, whether it be with the media or behind closed doors with teams. I think they all knocked it out of the park. And, you know, it's Mike Norvell. He's he said for a long time he looks for the right fit for this program. And, you know, everyone, of course, every coach is going to say something similar to that. But I truly believe Mike Norvell, you know, he's all in on that. And you're seeing it in, in this combine with 12 Florida State Seminoles. And, you know, that's going to be the case year after year moving forward. He truly does believe in a true fit. You know, that's not to say like if, oh, there's this ultra five-star player that we missed on. Oh, he wasn't a fit. No, we probably wanted him. But Mike Norvell truly does do his due diligence in researching these kids, getting to know them, laying the expect expectations down for them, and making sure that when they come here, it, the show just keeps running. It, it's been pretty phenomenal, TJ. Um, the, uh, the speed Oof. is really what jumped off the, off the, uh, charts or off the table or however you, however you want to phrase that the speed is certainly what jumped out at people, uh, this weekend, basically everybody with the exception of one guy who then did really, really well. Uh, everybody that ran was just like, you know, the, the NFL network guys and, you know, all of Twitter and all of draft, you know, all the draft experts and stuff, which is always a funny, you know, word to me, draft <laughs> expert. And they get like two guys right in the, in the, you know, whole thing and first round or whatever, uh, was what everybody went off at, you know, uh, from Braden Fisk, absolutely going nuts and, and probably working himself up into the, uh, you know, solidifying himself, I think is a day two guy, right? Like I'd yeah. be pretty shocked if, if he wasn't, uh, fastest def defensive tackle time. I mean, I, I, you know, and then everyone else too. Jarian Jones, Renardo Green, 
Um, every, <laughs> how about this? Every single Florida State Seminole that ran, uh, with the exception of Braden Fisk, ran faster than Miami's two safeties. And so we were a little bit <laughs> delayed tonight. That was because I was waiting on uh, Cam Kitchens to finish his 40 time. So, yeah, anyway, I'll get my dad jokes in here where we can. Thoughts on uh, just speed jumping off the jumping off the table at, or uh, off the charts at people. Sheesh, learn the yeah. word. Jerry and Jones shocked me. You know, running a 438 official. That that's ridiculous. And he made himself a lot of money. And he's not the only seminal. You had Trey Benson 439. I thought he'd be closer to a four five guy, but because I knew his top end speed was, you know, off the charts. I didn't know he would run a four three nine. Uh Caitlin Deloach did himself a, a huge service by doing a four four seven. Renato Green, four four nine. Jared Verse a four five eight at defensive end at his size. Jaheim Bell four six one. Braden Fisk a four seven eight, but Braden Fisk three cone drill was faster than Aaron Donald. <laughs> like yeah, like it, what these guys did. You know, if there's an endorsement, and, and Coach Storms would never make this about himself, but my goodness, that, that that is a huge endorsement for Coach Storms and Coach Norvell and what they can sell in the recruiting trail. You can say, hey, listen, whether it's the portal or high school, come here. These are the numbers you're going to, we expect you to put up. We're going to prepare you to put up at the NFL combine. And you're going to go from making, you know, $8 million to $12 million or whatever the difference may be. It's just phenomenal what these Florida state players did. Um, thoughts on Jerry and Jones, TJ. I did not see a four, three when I, when he was about to take off. We'll get right back to it. But first I want to give some love to my guy, John over at gotspears.com. right now. He is running a special where you can get a six foot spear. It's the one that I have. It's the one that so many of you have. We've had it out at tailgates. It's the one on the screen now for $100. And you can pick it up at the spring game. You won't have to pay shipping. You won't have to wait for it to come to you. You can get it right at the spring game. He's right in front of Urban Outfitters there. Every single time Florida State plays a home game, you can go check it out at gotspears.com. I'm going to put his number and his info in the description. Make sure that you reach out. Let him know that you're going to come pick that up at the spring game. He'll have it ready to go for you and you won't have to wait for shipping or pay shipping. We've got several other great options there on his website, gotspears.com. Go check him out today. Yeah, and he was phenomenal everywhere, right? Like yeah, everything he, he really did at, yeah. at the Combine was really, really good. And you talk about a guy who, you know, in 2021, you know, when, when he was here, a guy that like was very, I mean, he struggled, right? Like I don't think you have to yeah. sugarcoat that. I don't have to be like, I mean, he would tell you that. But he came out and, you know, what was so funny is like he came out and said like, "Well, I'm gonna prove everybody. I'm gonna I'm gonna show it to you guys. There's a lot of people that are doubting me. There's a lot of people that don't believe in me. Like I'm gonna prove it to you. I'm gonna show you." And uh, I think when you heard that, you were like, oh, "Okay, sure, buddy. Like I'm sure you will. <laughs> you know, like everybody that has a rough year ends up saying that." And uh, but he did right. Like he backed it up. He absolutely did it. And really, what he did over the last couple of years, and then now in the combine, and now to where people are talking about like, oh yeah, this is like a guy that is going to go super high, a guy that's going to be very productive at the next level. Um, his speed was, you know, again, off the charts. I'll continue to overuse that phrase. Um, really, really impressive. And then, you know, everything else that he was, you know, able to get done during the, you know, from cone drills to shuttle, everything else really really nice and uh i mean you you're happy for that kid too because he did struggle early and you know again i, I never really i mean it's like i was calling people out on twitter or anything but like yeah i mean you were like oh gosh jerry and jones here we go <laughs> and then like he ends up being like one of your you know most solid pieces on the year Ronaldo green was great you know at the combine he did a phenomenal job um and then you know even 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 keon right like i, I mean good night did you see the uh, the catch that uh, Jaheim Bell made, the one-handed yeah. catch along the sideline where he got um, two feet in? Um, Johnny Wilson was really good, ran really, really well, oh, really good God. hands. Johnny Wilson, his his uh, wingspan is, you know, it's a quarter inch. 85 inches or something. Yeah, it's it's an, a quarter inch bigger than LeBron's. Shout, shout out yeah. 40,000 points it, last it's night. It's the but, largest ever by a receiver in the combine history since yeah, he measured it. it unreal and then you know Keon who ran a little slow straight line speed I saw his fun his tweet afterward like playing speed uh certainly uh out you know outdid the the straight line speed he went up over 20 
miles an hour in the uh, in the you know what's it called the uh, gauntlet, gauntlet you know, yeah. the, kind of where you're catching passes on either side. So, man, I thought he was you know even the one guy who you'd say had like a down spot ended up having one of the more impressive you know showings there on the gauntlet, and then everybody really loved him. I saw Michael Irvin with him. Shout out, um, you know, Canes legends having to take pictures and do things with you know people that are not Canes uh, because they don't really do anything. Uh, but I saw Michael Irvin giving him some love. I, you know, saw some comparisons that Keon was getting with, with other pretty elite, uh, talent that's come out and come through. And you, you mentioned coach storms. I agree. He'd never take that on himself, but if you look at like the people that are tweeting for him, he doesn't have to, you know, Norvell's tweeting, you know, built by storms and all the players are tweeting built by storms and the players are thanking him. And, um, you know, so it, yeah, it is a testament. You know, you don't have like a goofball down there with a funny mustache that's uh, putting together funny Twitter videos, you know, for your program. But you do have a guy who absolutely produces results, and uh, and uh, you know, obviously, I think that's a, a little bit more important. Yeah, hundred percent. And you know, I just love seeing it. Like it, it, when you have the NFL official Twitter account just tweeting out Florida State players and what they're doing in the combine. It, it was amazing. And, it, you know, going back to Jerry and Jones, you touched on it, how he was doubted by many, including me. I, I don't remember if you doubted him or not, TJ, but I, I definitely doubted him early on. And, and he came on and I forget if this was after the Florida or the Oklahoma game, but, but let me just play this real quick, Jerry and Jones. And I felt like it was uh, relevant for this weekend. You know, look, I'm going to start my interview off like this. Uh, I read everything that y'all were talking about on Twitter and everything y'all had to say about your boy. Y'all probably won't say that no more. I just thought that was perfect for after he ran that four three eight. Um, but yeah, everyone like you said, Keon Coleman. I think that was the biggest surprise for me was the four six, uh, two four sixes uh, in the forty yard dash. But then hitting twenty point eight miles an hour, which was the fastest of anyone in the gauntlet. Man, like it. I don't think there's going to be a GM that says, man, Keon Coleman, because he was never a burner, right? He's never a Tyree Kill kind of guy. He's just a guy that gets separation, gets open, and makes tough catches. That's all he did at Michigan State. That's all he did at Florida State. And that's all he's going to do in what I think will be a 10-plus year NFL career. Yeah. It'll be exciting to see some of these guys and, and you know, obviously where they land and how they land. And, you know, I mean, I'd love Fisk in Tampa. So, We'll see uh, oh, kind of how that all that goes down. But yeah, I mean, and you know, we, we did all of that and didn't mention Jared verse. So uh, yeah. who is going to be the highest draft pick of, of anyone um, absolutely going nuts on the, on the bench was really good on the 40 and, and he was, he, he had a, a really nice day um, as well. So combine was fun. Um, kind of proves a little of the, uh, the idea of development. Again, some of those guys, high school guys, some of those guys, uh, you know, Kalen and, and them that ran certainly high school guys. And then, you know, guys uh, who came in from the portal, guys who were here for one year, guys who were here for several years. And uh, when they when they finish up, they they certainly always credit Florida State, which is, you know, take that to your local troll and and tell them to suck it. So 